for the proper maintenance and working of the body all the systems of the body have to work in union and coordinate with each other the system that brings out the coordination between the organs of the body is nervous system it has a two way communication between the brain and the organs of the body nervous system is divided into three parts the central nervous system peripheral nervous system and the autonomy nervous system the brain is present in a box like structure of the skull the skull is hard and protects the brain the brain weighs about 1350 grams the human brain contains about 10 billion nerve cells the brain is covered with three membranes called meninges there is a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid between the inner and middle meninges this fluid protects the brain by absorbing mechanical shocks brain contains cavities called ventricles cerebrum is a largest part of the brain it weighs about 995 grams it occupies the upper part of the brain a longitudinal groove divides the cerebrum into two equal halves each half is called cerebral hemisphere the two cerebral hemispheres are interconnected each cerebral hemisphere is again divided into a number of lobes there are elevations and depressions on the surface of the cerebrum the elevations are called gyri the depressions are called sulci if we cut open the cerebrum we find an outer portion gray in color called gray matter an inner portion white in color called white matter the movements of voluntary muscles on the left side of the body are controlled by the right cerebral hemisphere similarly the movements of the voluntary muscles on the right side are controlled by the left cerebral hemisphere injury or damage to these hemispheres causes paralysis to the right and left side of the body in the cerebrum there are specialized centers for specific activities like vision sound touch smell taste and speech these are called sensory centers they receive information from eyes ears skin nose and tongue and analyze this information cerebrum is the seat of memory learning thinking and intelligence The cerebellum is small. It is known as a small brain. The cerebellum lies below the cerebrum. It is divided into three lobes. Parallel grooves are present on the cerebellum. It also consists of outer gray matter and inner white matter. It maintains the balance of the body and coordinates muscular activity. Medulla oblongata is below the cerebellum. This is the smallest part. It is broad anteriorly and gradually narrows posteriorly. It is roughly triangular. It is a link between brain and spinal cord. Spinal cord is a continuation of the medulla oblongata. It is about 1 cm in diameter. It passes downwards into the trunk through the neck. In the trunk spinal cord is enclosed by vertebral column. A canal called spinal canal travels throughout the length of spinal cord. Cerebrospinal fluid flows through spinal canal. The spinal cord conveys messages from the brain to the organs and from the organs to the brain. The important function of the spinal cord is the control of reflex actions.
12 pairs of nerves called cranial nerves arise from the brain. The spinal cord gives rise to 31 pairs of nerves called spinal nerves. Sensory nerves carry the impulses from the sense organs to the brain or the spinal cord. Motor nerves carry the impulses from the brain or spinal cord to the muscles and are responsible for the movements of muscle. The mixed nerves carries both the sensory and motor nerves information. The autonomy nervous system consists of a network of nerve centers called ganglia. From these nerve centers, nerves are given off to the various organs like heart, lungs and kidneys, elementary canal and muscles. The autonomy nervous system is divided into sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system speeds up body functions. Parasympathetic system slows down the body functions. Structural unit of the nervous system is the nerve cell or neuron. New nerve cells are not produced to replace the damaged or destroyed nerve cells. A neuron has three parts, cyton, axon and dendrites. Cyton is the cell body. It has a large and round nucleus. In the cytoplasm of the cyton, nissal granules are present. Axon is a long cylindrical elongation that arises from the cyton. In some nerve cells, axon is surrounded by a sheath known as myelin sheath. The myelin sheath is not continuous throughout the length of the axon. It is broken at regular intervals. The broken spots are called as nodes of Ranvier. Axon carries impulses away from cyton. Dentrites arise from cyton. They are much branched when compared to axon. They carry impulses to cyton. The neuron has a single dentrite called unipolar neuron. Bipolar neurons have two dentrites. Multipolar neurons have many dendrites. Various forces that act on the body are called stimuli. The reaction shown by the body to various stimuli are called responses. We close our eyes or keep our hands against the light to protect our eyes. When we touch any hot substance, we immediately withdraw our hand from it. When some loud sound is heard immediately, we close our ears to protect our ears. These sudden and involuntary actions are called reflex action. They help the body to protect itself from forces that cause damage or injury. Each sense organ is made up of cells called receptors. The receptors respond to the stimulus by producing a small electrical current or impulses. The impulses from the spinal cord are carried to the muscles by motor nerve. Then the muscles contract. The muscles are called effector organs. The parts involved and the part traveled by the impulses during a reflex action is called a reflex arc. The brain goes on working as long as we live. Alcoholic drinks, narcotic substances and tobacco affect the working of the brain. If the brain is affected, the working of the other organs in the body is also affected. To keep the body healthy, the brain must be kept active and healthy. Well children, that brings us to the end and conclusion of another amazing lesson in science where we learnt about our human body, health, hygiene, safety and first aid. Until we meet again, please take care of yourself and your body. Bye-bye.